Hi, my name is Jonathan Sharp. I'm the Sales and Marketing Director of Britannic Technologies. My presentation is entitled Shifting to Leaner Ways of Working and Unifying Communications for Remote Workers. As I said, things are always changing. I think the, uh, you know, the, the, the term summed up by uh, Heraclitus uh, uh, many, many years ago, which is change is the only constant in life. And you know, what are we seeing today? So mobile uh, first, so mobile devices, uh, uh, the ubiquity of these, uh, I think there's more mobile devices on the planet than there actually are people. So this has very much become the primary interface that people use. But of course, if we're looking at uh, uh, technology and, uh, uh, and the growth of the internet, uh, you know, a lot of online services. So people are looking to use, uh, they use search engines for finding providers. And of course, they're used to uh, self-service uh, tools, whether it be things such as uh, YouTube or um, going into getting advice from uh, um, uh, sites such as uh, TripAdvisor uh, and when, when they're actually making uh, purchasing and, and, and selection decisions. Um, there's been a big shift with technology uh, focusing on consumer um, types of technology. So we talked before about consumerization of IT, but you know a lot of the technology that people use in their home lives has really bled over into uh, into the business environment. They want to use these things to uh, uh, to interact and communicate with uh, with suppliers. So we've seen the growth of uh, of, of things like web chat and uh, SMS, uh, and of course social media, and more latterly WhatsApp being used by organizations when they're communicating with uh, end customers and end consumers. Um, what's important as well is, is, is the consistency of contact and being able to accommodate choice. And we talked today about omnichannel and, and that goes much more than just providing choice. It's also about supporting the ability to pivot and move uh, from one channel to another actually within a live contact. So I may start off an interaction via a web chat. I may uh, choose to add uh, a voice and audio to that interaction. I might want to um, have somebody guide me through a website, so using co-browsing technology, right up to uh, to video interaction. And of course, we've all seen this of uh, of late uh, due to COVID, the, the huge growth in uh, in conference calls and uh, and video sessions. And this isn't just in the workplace; it's also a great way of unifying friends and family through uh, uh, through video uh, tools. And you know, Zoom is one of those uh, um, organizations that's just grown tremendously. Uh, over the recent uh, months as a result of uh, um, people wanting to communicate via video uh, with their with their friends and family. Um, there's a big focus on customer experience and I'll talk through this in the presentation as well and uh, it's, it's, look, it's looking at the journey that people go through and uh, how they contact the business, the different communication channels and of course invariably that front point is through the website so it's what's the digital journey how do we enhance it? How do we add uh, appropriate communication interfaces and uh, uh, you know at the right time and in the right way? It's important to look at the user experience as well. So um, happy staff generally equals happy customers. So if we can empower people, if we can get to the position where they've got the right tools and they're able to interact with customers at the right time in the right way with the right information, uh, they can certainly focus on delighting those uh, those customers and providing uh, improved resolution, so a drive around first call resolution and actually uh, personalizing the services delivered. There's of course a big change around uh, uh, technology being used to automate, so a lot of talk about AI, uh, but also around uh, uh, robotic process automation, RPA and, and process uh, and workflow uh, automation. So we're working with customers to help to leverage uh, you know, a lot of these technologies to deliver some big efficiencies. The technology today uh, really needs to be agile and open. So um, whether we're looking at starting small and trying a, a proof of concept, whether we're looking at how do we embrace new technologies and channels, we need to be in a position where it's easy to connect uh, things together. And of course, you know, the continued move to the cloud and uh, and, and the massive rise in uh, in home working that we've seen of late. So pre-COVID, uh, some of the things that uh, you know we were talking to customers about was um, was really the, the rapid pace of, uh, of change within technology. And uh, there's a, a great stat there, 73% of CEOs in Fortune 500 companies were, were worried about small to medium, you know, agile businesses and startups disrupting their markets and taking their customers. Because a lot of this is about the, the barriers to entry have been removed through technology. And of course, with bigger, uh, potentially slower moving businesses, uh, uh, you know, as the established uh, um, uh, market players, these new entrants or or agile businesses are coming in and actually creating new service offerings, new approaches to market. You know, they're able to extend and scale a lot quicker because they're using technology to disrupt the way and thing. You know, the way 
um, things have always been done. And, you know, I'm a firm believer of uh, just because that's the way it's always been done. It doesn't mean to say it's, it's the way it should be done into the future. 